What's going on guys, Josh Bocock here. Now on this channel, we've covered many different AI models and different AI tools. And we've covered Gemini Real Time, we've covered Gemini 2.0 Flash, we've covered Notebook LM, and I've personally said on this channel that Google is definitely not a company that you want to underestimate when it comes to the AI race. And we've seen that lately with a tremendous amount of new updates and different models and all these cool things that they're putting out that is really, really awesome. Now, Gemini 2.0 Flash is really cool and it is a really good LLM, but another tool by Google that we actually haven't talked about on this channel yet is Project IDX. This is Google's in the browser IDE that is an alternative to some of the other IDEs that we've covered on this channel, such as Aid, Bolt.DIY, Bolt.New, Cursor, Pair AI, Windsurf, VS Code, you name it. And not only is this a full blown IDE in your browser that allows you to do things like add extensions, edit files, use any single framework you want, like Next.js, Flutter, you name it. But it also has all the same capabilities of Cursor, Windsurf with AI editing features for 100% free. I'm gonna show you how you can use it and build really cool stuff in today's video. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so for those of you who don't know about Project IDX, all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. As you can see, a few key features of familiar environments, such as, um, you know, VS Code, Gemini in IDX, project creation with it, it built in templates, GitHub import, Android and web emulators, which is really cool, especially if you're building apps um, for the uh, like Flutter or whatever the case may be. Um, deploy directly from your workspace, workspace sharing, experimental, full VM workspace, and then of course extensions okay there's a lot of other cool little features too we're gonna dive into those right now and another cool thing i want to cover is this is a feature right here that is somewhat more recent which is interactive chat so as you'll see in just a second when we dive into project idx we're able to do the standard chat interface on the right hand side like you would be able to do with any ai pair programming tool but now with interactive chat we're able to do a lot more such as multi-file editing, running terminal commands, and much more. So when you first go to Project IDX, you will see we have the homepage, the blog, the docs, so you can check out the docs if you want. Okay, so you will see your workspaces here as well as shared with you workspaces. And you can import from a repo here. You can do the Android Studio. So try building native Android apps entirely in your browser with an emulator and all that cool stuff. And then we also have different templates right here that you can choose from. So say you wanted to use Angular, Next.js, Flutter, Gemini API, Astro, Go, Python, Node Express. We can go to see all templates here so we can see web apps right here. We can see backend apps right here, Go, Python Flask, Django. We have mobile apps like React Native, Flutter, AI and ML with Langchang, Firebase, Genkit, um, miscellaneous, and then databases like Postgres, MongoDB, Firebase, Prisma, MySQL. So a bunch of different options, which is really nice. Now for today's video, let's go ahead and click Next.js app. And we're going to create an awesome CRM right here. You can name it anything, of course. You can select JavaScript or TypeScript. We're going to go with TypeScript. You could select use a source directory, use ESLint, use App Router, use Tailwind. So we're going to use all those and go ahead and click Create. Now it is going to set up the workspace, initialize the environment, build the environment, and then finalize everything, and we should be good to go. All right, and boom, now we have our environment set up. You can see here the terminal automatically ran npm install right here, which is nice. And you can see that we have a web preview of our app right here on the right hand side, which is really nice as well. So over here, if we click here, we could share preview link, copy preview URL, manage workspace access, make preview public, so a bunch of different options there. All right, we can do the standard things that you would be able to do in your IDE, like search, search and replace. Over here, initialize repo, publish to Git run and debug right here we got extensions right here so let's say you wanted to use an extension like continue.dev for example you could go here add this or you could go ahead and use Klein. if you didn't see my recent Klein video you could check that out you could install Klein and use that 
And this would allow you to use other models in case you wanted to, like Claude Sonnen 3.5 um, in, you know, Google's IDX instead of just using Google Gemini. All right, and here we have some Project IDX options right here. You can see, go ahead and add Google Gemini API to our app. We can grant access like so, sign in. All right, now you can see we have the Google Gemini API. If you want to add other stuff like Firebase or any other of these Google apps, you can do so very easily for integrations. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this preview and you will see that we have up here in the top right, a little Gemini icon right here. If we click this, we can see explain selected code, add comments for selected code, do anything with selected code. So those are a few default options, generate unit tests with the current file, experimental, and then chat with Gemini and start inline chat. So just for example, let's go ahead and do add comments for selected code. You're going to have to uh, select code first and then we you can use this. All right, so now we have Gemini and IDX popping up so we can select enable suggestions as you type. So this is the autocomplete and then enable code base indexing. We can just go ahead and click continue. All right, so Gemini wants to update a file. We can go ahead and click update and it should start adding these comments. And boom, we can see this is the default homepage for the application, instructions for getting started, all the different comments that you would want. Now you have an option right here. You can use the new classic chat right here. So so this is if you wanted to just simply chat with you know the gemini model within a typical chat interface you can see how do i fetch in js and it's explaining it to us right here thinking explaining to us giving us some additional resources right here which we could check out or we could use the interactive chat which is the new chat which allows you to make changes to the code base run terminal commands and more with your approval so here i'm saying make a beautiful crm application i'm using next.js app router and we're going to go ahead and click send all right, so Gemini wants to create a file. We can go ahead and create file here. Gemini wants to create another file. Let's go ahead and allow that for the sidebar. All right, we got the header here. We can create that. We got a modal, let's create that. Okay, so it created all these files. Let's go ahead and check this out so far. One issue I'm noticing is that all the different files, it's adding TSX at the top right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. Okay, so I'm getting this error right here. So I'm gonna just copy and paste this over into over into our chat. Oh, it's simple. We just need to use use client. Very easy. Getting another error. I'm gonna paste this in. I don't know why it keeps doing this TSX stuff right here. I'm gonna delete that. Okay, now we do have it loading right here. We are getting an error though. So I'm gonna copy and paste this in. Okay, and now it doesn't look like we're getting this error, which is good. Okay, so the second one actually screwed it up here. So I'm actually just gonna go control Z to undo that and then we should have it. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. All right, so now I'm saying make it have more functionality. The sidebar menu options should link to separate pages as well. Let's go ahead and send this. Okay, so we're adding a couple pages. We're updating the layout.tsx. Okay, we're getting a failed to compile right now. So I'm gonna copy and paste this over into Gemini. All right, so now Gemini is going to run a terminal command right here to install hero icons. Okay, that problem's resolved now, but now we got another one. So I'm gonna copy and paste this over. Okay, now it's loading up, but we're getting a couple more errors. All right, so I finally fixed that issue. It was actually just one of the names and the icons wasn't correct to the documentation. And Gemini just kept trying to put that same name. Now here it is, of course, it isn't the best, but I did also add some graphs right here. Of course, we could tell it to fix the text. We got monthly sales, new customers, etc. Just a couple graphs from ReChart here. Now, let's say you wanted to take your project outside of uh, IDX. What you could simply do is just highlight your whole entire project and then click zip and download. And you could download this whole entire project as a zip. So maybe you want to prototype something really quickly in IDX. You can do that and then zip it, download it and use it in your IDE like cursor, windsurf or whatever the case may be, or even Klein with VS Code and really go in that way. 
or of course you could just use like something like uh, continue.dev or Klein within here if you do want to have access to other models. I do personally prefer other models than Gemini Flash. I think Gemini Flash is really good, but I still like using models like Claude Sonnet 3.5, you know, maybe GPG 4.0 or 01 for coding when it comes to complex projects. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to showcase Google IDX, and I think this is really cool. It's a really cool free tool that you can use today. And like I said, don't underestimate Google, even though they made some fumbles in the past initially. Now we're seeing a lot of cool advancements from them and a lot of big things. So I'm excited to see where this whole space goes in 2025. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to with the uploads also too guys if you haven't already joined our free facebook group and discord channel stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below for that and then also too guys you're definitely going to want to join our stride ai academy i'm going to be uploading some course content resources templates etc very soon into this community so make sure to join and stay tuned for that also too guys if you run a business and you need help with your systems your sales your marketing or implementing ai ai agents like ai appointment setters ai call center into your business and book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not other than that guys i will see See you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.